So I'm delighted to have made the list of the Telegraph's top 50 women in engineering. Um, it's in association with the Women's Engineering Society and this year they've focused on under 35s for the list. So it was really exciting to go down to London and meet some of the other top 50 women in engineering. The engineering sector is really wide so there's lots of women doing completely different jobs. It was fascinating to hear all the different projects they were involved in, it was really good. There was 550 applicants and they were really looking for people who were involved in something a bit innovative or people who had worked with young people and I've been doing a bit of both. For me engineering is a really good chance to get involved in problem solving and I think particularly civil engineering you know if you get involved in a project right from the start you can see all those trials and tribulations and seeing a project right through to completion it's such a great sense of pride. I think engineering is a fantastic career choice for women and for girls. Um, it's such a varied career, there's so many different options, but within the industry uh, women are still sadly quite underrepresented. Out of the engineers in the UK, only 9% are women, um, so I think we still need to do a lot of work in that area. I've been really lucky in Scottish Water, I've had such fantastic mentors and coaches both men and women and I think as an organisation we're really good at that. You know, any time I've wanted to help and support it's always been there and I think that's one of the things that makes Scottish Water such a great place to work.